All right, let's also now have a look as to what exactly is unfolding at Bishkek. The president of China, Xi Jinping, has arrived at the Kyrgyz capital for the 19th SEO summit. Now, President Xi was received by the Kyrgyz president, Suranbat Jinbekov. And President Xi has thanked his counterpart for the warm reception and also has extended best wishes for his countrymen. The President Xi has pointed out that China and Kyrgyzstan are connected by mountain and also by rivers. And the two leaders also discussed the future of the bilateral relationship between China and Kyrgyzstan. Now, other leaders of the SEO countries are expected to arrive soon. The 19th Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit is all set to begin here in Kyrgyz capital, Bishkek, from 13th to 14th. Focus will be on many global and regional issues such as trade, connectivity and counter-terror. Follow me, Sudhan Simple, for all the latest and live updates from Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, only on Vyond. All right, now, ahead of his India visit, the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has also resorted to one of the popular slogans that Prime Minister Narendra Modi's BJP had used during the recent election campaigning. Now, in a major policy speech, Pompeo put his own spin on the popular Modi hai to mumkin hai slogan or Modi makes it possible. Now, citing the slogan, Pompeo has sought to take the bilateral relationship between, no, between both the countries to the next level. He also reiterated that the Trump administration and Prime Minister Modi have a unique opportunity to strengthen the India-U.S. relationship. Listen in. I hope together we will finally fulfill the great promise of cooperation that was uh, present at India's birth and which remains evident today. These are big ideas. It's what you all came here uh, for. And they're big opportunities too. And I'm very much looking forward to my trip next week and meeting with Prime Minister Modi and my new counterpart face-to-face. -face. As Prime Minister Modi said in his latest campaign, he said, Modi high to Mumkin high. Modi makes it possible. Now, Pompeo has said that he's in fact looking forward to his trip to New Delhi later this month. During his visit, Pompeo will be meeting with Narendra Modi and also his new counterpart, S. Jay Shankar, the new India's external affairs minister. Now, Pompeo has listed out some of the big ideas and also the big opportunities to take the bilateral relationship to the next level. He's also admitted that there are differences that still remain in some of the key trade and business issues between the United States and India. But he also said that he was extremely hopeful that India will drop its trade barriers. Listen in. I hope together we will finally fulfill the great promise of cooperation that was uh, present at India's birth and which remains evident today. Pompeo highlighted that under President Donald Trump, the United States has de taken defense cooperation to newer heights and has also taken a far tougher stand in Pakistan's unacceptable support for terror. Now, Mike Pompeo is all set to travel to India, Sri Lanka, Japan and South Korea towards the end of June. And his four-nation tour is aimed at deepening the U.S. partnership in the strategic Indo-Pacific region. Now, the U.S. State Department has come down heavily on Pakistan government, urging its leadership to take sustained actions against terrorists operating from its soil. A senior State Department official, Alice G. Wells, has slammed the Pakistani government, saying that it may have taken steps against terror groups post the Pulwama attack, but the actions are still reversible. Now, Alice Wells has said, and I quote her here, terror organizations such as the lashkar e taiba and the jaish e mohammed will continue to pose a grave risk to international peace as long as they are able to operate freely in pakistan the pulwama terror attack in february that sparked a crisis between india and pakistan has underscored the importance and the immediate need to halt terror activity in the region as she further went on to state that the united states continues to urge pakistan's leaders to make good on their pledges to take sustained and irreversible actions that are necessary for long-term stability and prosperity of the region. Now, she's also raised the listing of the Jesh leader Masood Azhar by the United Nations Sanctions Committee, saying that it sent an important message that the international community will not tolerate terrorism and has also requested that Pakistan must sustain these measures and expand upon them, especially by prosecuting the terror leaders.